Welcome back. This is Mr. Cook. Today I'm going to explain the improvisation project. Actually, there's three of them which you will be doing. So the reason we're doing them is when you do improvisation, which is making stuff up at the spur of the moment, there are certain rules to follow. And depending on which actor or acting troupe you talk to, they have a different set of rules, but you're going to decide, you're going to notice they're all sort of the same rules in different ways. So your object is you're going to learn how to create improvisational pieces essentially by following the basic rules of improv. So by the end of class, or at least on the first project, you're going to have written out your own rules of improvisation. So the instructions are click on the link and watch Improv Lesson from Tina, Tina Fey. She's a very good comedian. If you watch Saturday Night Live, you should be familiar with her. She's in an interview and she talks about how to do improvisation and she lays it out as certain rules of improvisation. Please take notes. If you take notes, you can send me a picture of your notes and I will give you some extra credit. I'll be giving bonus points. and You can use those to help your grade later in the semester. So watch the video, pay attention to what Miss Faye says are the rules of improvisation. So this project is gonna have three parts. The first part is gonna be simply list and explain your rules. The second part is you're gonna explain why improvisation is important beyond theater. And the third part is you're gonna make up your own improvisation game. So let's talk about project one. This will be due first. Create a list of your rules of improvisation. Don't just copy from Miss Faye, put them into your own words. I want you to list the rule, rule number one is this, and then I want you to explain why the rule is important. What happens if we don't follow it? Or what happens if we do follow it? After you have made your list, you have a couple ways of submitting it. On the website, you will see a link that says Project One Improvisation Submission Link. If you click that, you have a couple options. The first thing you're gonna see is a text box where you can type in your answer. If it's a good word processor, you can type it in there. You may type it in on another word processor if you prefer and cut and paste it into that box. Or you can save it up as a Word document or whatever document you are and you can upload the file. There is a file upload there. Or if you made it as a poster, just take a picture of it and upload it as a file. Um, remember if you took notes and you wish the bonus points in the file upload, you would upload it there. So I may get a couple files from several of you. Project two. I want you to write an essay and I want you to think of three non-theater positions where knowing how to improv would help you. Remember, improv is kind of keeping a conversation going. So think about people who interact. Will improv help you if you're out on a date and you want to keep the conversations going? If you are a cop or a doctor or even a clerk at a store or even shuffling burgers at McDonald's, would the improvisation rules help you with dealing with other people? Uh, think about family members. Once again, think about people who are getting together and will want to have a conversation and probably keep the conversation going or at least be entertaining. Think about them and write, describe three situations. As with project one, you will find a link. This one says project two. You can click on it and you can type your answer right in there or you can cut and paste your answer into there or you can save it as a Word document and just upload that file to me. Either way is fine. Remember to hit submit when you are done. Project three, you're kind of stuck at home and the best way to do improvisation is to practice. Improvisation is linking things together which you don't normally link together. So come up with a couple games you can play with yourself or with your family members that could help you. Here's a nice hint. Look up videos of the TV show called Whose Line Is It Anyway? Lots of examples on YouTube and other video sites. It is also still on cable TV. It is hysterical. They have tons of games you can adapt. If you also need hints, look at areas you can get props. You can randomly open a book and get sentence out of there. If you have a collection of pictures or a picture book, flip to a page, what can you do with that picture? If you have a box filled with all sorts of odds and ends, if you pull them out, can you do something with that? Those are little hints. So I want you to create a game you can play with yourself or with your family members and explain how to play the game and send it to me. And that'll be project three. Once again, you'll have the link, project three improvisation link. 
You can type your answers in there or you can upload it as a file. So if you have any questions, unfortunately, I can't talk to you face to face. I'm working on that. So please email me. You have two ways to do that. On the class website in the upper right hand corner, you see a little like shout out icon, a little text box. If you click on that, it will open up the messenger system in the school thing. Um, just enter my name for search, Mr. Cook. My name will come up and you can send me a message. The first time you do this, there may be a slight delay. It will say it's going to send me a message for me to add you to my contact book. But then you can leave messages with me. And if I get them on the website, I know they definitely have to do with our work on the website. If that really confuses you, you can always go back to the reliable and log on and send it to me, your questions on your campus email or my campus email. Once again, it's jcook at sisd.net. I check it a couple times a day. I check it, try to get more, and I'll get my answers back to you as soon as possible. So welcome to the world of improvisation. I hope you get a few laughs out of it, and I hope you have some fun, and I hope you realize how useful this can be in real life.